Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive ALV and in the previous video we started with hot spot functionality and yes we created the hot spot for sales document number now we need to go for the logic for the same and we checked in the debugging mode the value of SciUcom is M% IC1. That's why debugging is very important. If you will not check in the debugging mode, how we can write the logic for the same. So now I will write the logic. If R underscore UCOM is equal to M percent IC1. This is the value of user command whenever user is clicking on to that hot spot. Now what we will do? Whenever user, whenever the user command is M percent IC1, we need to go to which particular transaction code? VA03. So how I can call that transaction? VA03. Simple syntax. I will write call transaction. I will give that transaction name. What is that transaction name? VA03. I will write up to this level. I will show you in that debugging mode and then we will go for further part. I will simply go for activation. I will put a breakpoint and I am running the program. I will give the input. Now I am clicking on to this hotspot. User command called and in the user command we have written the logic to call VA03. And you can see this R underscore UCOM is M percent IC1. This if condition is true. And we are calling which transaction? VA03. And have you seen? I am on VA03 transaction code. But the most important part is pending. You clicked on to sales order number 77. So that sales order number should pass here, should pass here. If I will go for 78, that 78 should pass here. So how, how we can do this particular thing? Now here we will use the concept of memory. We will use the concept of memory. I will go for that much information at this point of time, which everyone can adjust because we have a separate topic, huge topic on SAP memory and ABAP memory, which will be covered in the future. But as of now, I will give you that much information which is required for this particular functionality. So what we will do from this particular transaction code, if I will go to back, I'll just execute. This is our program. This is our report. From this particular report, we want to pass the sales document number to VA03 transaction code. So I will use the memory concept. I will pass the value into the SAP memory. How, how I can do that? So firstly, we will go for syntax then we will see how we can do. I will go to back button. How we will pass? I will use a syntax set parameter ID. I will use the syntax set parameter ID. Now, after that, I will give the parameter ID. Now, extremely important from the interview perspective, because at this point of time, if you do not have the knowledge of SAP memory, ABAP memory, still you need, you can understand this part. 
आई एम गिविंग ए वैल्यू ऑफ पैरामीटर आई डी वट इज द पैरामीटर आई डी आई नीड टू पास इन जी आई विल गो टू वी ए जीरो थ्री ट्रांजेक्शन को वी ए जीरो थ्री ट्रांजेक्शन को ना आई वॉन्ट टू पास द वैल्यू हेयर आई वॉन्ट टू पास द वैल्यू हेयर If I want to see the technical information, how I can see the technical information? You all know F one here, so I will do F one. Now go to technical information. This is the data element. Whenever I will double click on to this data element, if I will go to further characteristics. Have you seen? We have a parameter ID A U N A U N. So this is the way how you will check the parameter ID. If you do not want to go by this way, you all know for V B E L N the data element is V B E L N underscore V A. Suppose if I will go to S C eleven transaction code V B A K table. Now V B E L N underscore V A and have you seen we have parameter I D A U N A U N so I will use this particular parameter I D so I will use set parameter I D A U N now we will pass the value 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 means what if seventy seven clicked seventy seven will pass if seventy eight clicked. Seventy-eight will pass. So how how we will pass the value to this parameter ID field? Now we need to check in which variable we have the value of sales document number. Just see. As of now, I will comment and we will see in the debugging mode in which variable we have the value. Extremely important concept is going on. now i will go for execution in the debugging mode so that i can show you where we have the value of sales document number and this memory concept is extremely important but full detail you will understand in the future whenever i will cover i am giving input i am clicking here Seventy seven. I clicked. Now, in which variable we have seventy seven? If you see, you already know also. If I will go R S cell field, where we have this seventy seven value in the value column. So, can I use this particular thing? Yes, I can use this particular thing because here we are sure user will click here, so we can use the value. so i will simply write set parameter id and what is the value rs underscore cell field hyphen value i will just apply pretty printer check the syntax and activate this is called as SAP memory concept. We are passing this value into the SAP memory, SAP memory, and it will set. We are passing this value into this SAP memory ID. Yes, we have this SAP parameter ID there. We checked in that data element, and then we are calling this transaction code. and i showed you through technical information in this technical information when i did function plus f1 you can see here we have what a u n a u n whenever you have a u n this a u n what the value we set 77 78 so it will simply simply appear 77 and 78 here so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we covered extremely important thing because now we need to call that transaction va03 
whenever user is clicking on to hotspot. So we have written firstly called transaction VA03. It is going to VA03. But now the next question comes how we will pass the value from this particular report to VA03. So we have a concept of memory. We will pass the value into the memory and yes, it will be there. So we have two types of memory, a BAP memory and SAP memory. There's no need to go into detail as of now because we have a separate huge concept for the same. So at that time, how in this scenario, I used SAP memory. So what we did, wherever I want to pass the value, I check the technical information. We have a parameter ID in the data element. So I am setting the value to that parameter ID. Here I am setting, yes, so it will set in there, it will set there, it will set. Now, after that, we are calling that transaction VA03. So it means that value is into that parameter ID. And this parameter ID is for this particular field. So we will get the value here itself. In the next video, I will show you in the debugging mode. And one more thing, we checked in the debugging mode. In this variable, we have the sales document number. In the next video, I will show you in the debugging mode, are we getting a expected output or not? So that's it in this video. Thank you.